Uh, my name is Mike Ken. I'm in the Ocean and Mechanical Engineering Department. Uh, CO2 is the main uh, contributor for global warming, so we want to capture CO2 from atmosphere so that we can help reducing global temperature. In this research, I want to study carbon dioxide dissolution in water so that I can store more CO2 into aquifers while extracting methane from it. So we have a fresh aquifers which are located about 100 or 200 meters from the ground. But what I'm saying here, aquifers, is not that fresh aquifers. If you go deeper than 100 meters, we have a still like aquifers but containing uh, salty water. So the structure of these, these aquifers is kind of sponge. So it's kind of porous structure containing salty water. In general, CO2 can be dissolved in pure water, but if you have a salinity, the dissolution rate will be significantly decreased, which means if you inject a large amount of CO2 into aquifers, we may not have the same amount of CO2 storage as we expected. So we want to increase the dissolution rate of CO2 into uh, saline solutions. Uh, in this research, we want to quantify carbon dioxide dissolution rate in water in different conditions. So we uh, measured size of carbon dioxide bubbles at the inlet and outlet, and we compare their sizes. The size difference can give you a uh, dissolution rate uh, based on physical uh, chemistry. Long serpentine channels were used to watch the equilibrium state of carbon dioxide at dissolution in water. If you have a short channel, it is difficult to watch equilibrium state. But if you have a longer channel, it is better to observe the equilibrium state of dissolution of carbon dioxide. What's happening in the uh, micro channel is very different with actual process. The key point is we are not simulating actual injection process. We are studying the effect of parameters and also we are quantifying how fast CO2 can be dissolved in aquifer solutions. The most important findings of this study is to increase CO2 dissolution with a catalyst. So this CO2 can be used in many different applications, not only for injection to saline aquifers. For example, in oil and gas industry, they use CO2 for enhanced oil recovery. So if you can increase this you know, dissolution of CO2 into oil, you can extract more oil with the same amount of CO2 injection. So we found that using nanoparticles catalyst, we can increase about five times a better dissolution rate of CO2 such that we can help uh, like more storage of uh, CO2 into saline aquifers.